Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Artinello with Amelia Valamia. In this episode, we're going to dive into Misha's level 9 cabinet there. So, let's do it. Do it, do it. I don't know why I said that. Alright, let's go. So, just, just like with Orica's, um, her world is, well... A world that she likes. Thank God. Yep, finally at level 9. That we should, Liner. That we should. Alright, well, guys, we're going to draw level 9 atmosphere. A lot more brighter and less sadistic. Alright, so let's go to Stonehenge and see what's, our, see what's here. Hey there, Shaman. Or Sh Shaman, as the game would like to call you. I haven't seen you in, like, what, level... Four. Medivh. All right. Um. Life tower. Oops. Excuse me. Hey, there's mystery. Now you're mystery. I was confusing your name with the question mark, dude. <coughs> that ain't the exact same thing. And eh, whatever. Um. Temple. Indeed, it is. Hmm, but I can't help but, but to think there's something missing in this world. I wonder why. Yeah, I feel like there's someone else, someone, someone, someone else is supposed to be here, or something else. Hmm, yeah, whatever. It'll probably come to me later in the cosmos here. Hey, there's all Ice Fairy. Where's the show? Actually, yeah, that's the question that I want to know. Ooh, there's another thing there. Hey, it's Hershey. Oh, what's up, Ben? Why are you blushing? That, do I like you? Um, <laughs> what are you talking about? You're weird. You're gonna die? Um, yeah, I like you as a friend. <laughs> uh, kiss you. Yeah, this is just weird. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, attractive. Uh, n no, yeah, you're completely attractive. <laughs> oh, Kuja, you'll find someone. I'm pretty sure you will. Who knows? Perhaps you'll find someone in the next two games. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, there's Flower. Cool. Alright. And let's go to the Eternal Street. Hey, this is Angel Shore. Indeed, it is a special day. Alright, and oh, there's another thing here. Eternal Street. And hey, there's Jack. Well, that is that is to be expected, since Jack is pretty close to Misha. That's a brother. Well, of course, she, she, she didn't think you're like a brother to her. So, of course, you'd be a strong influence on her. <clears throat> yeah, you sound like the body liner, not the song. I mean, that's a voluptuous body. Okay, I don't know why it sounds like that. Claire. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna dump Misha. Even though this, though this sounds weird to me thinking Orcus path. Yeah, of course, Jack. Alright. So, now let, let's just go to the Constraint House. Why is this place still here? Ah, uh, whatever. Excuse <coughs> me. 
And who is it this time? And whoa! Oh God! It's Misha. For level freaking five. And oh, I guess she's not going to chain us now. Well, wait a minute. I said it's the exact same thing in or is level nine cousins here. Someone tried to kill me. <laughs> this is awkward. Um, sure. Why not? Alright, well, we'll just be chilling here. Which is taking forever. Ooh, Misha. That's a pretty good outfit. Yeah, yeah, in case you guys don't know, this is a wedding dress. I guess this is a Japanese wedding dress, a Japanese kimono. I, I'm pretty sure this is what they wear when they get married over there. Whereas Orga was wearing a, a traditional Western, Western um, wedding dress, I believe. There was like one scene. It was like a screenshot I saw of a visual novel, and the the um, character was wearing a dress like that, while the. Uh, well, the faces dude was wearing a hakama, which is well used for religious affairs and all that good stuff. And yeah, just like with question mark dude, many mysteries gonna be be um, presiding over the ceremony. Sweet, all right? And oh, right, right. Yeah, that was the person I was forgetting. Yeah, Hama's not here. That's right, Hama was destroyed in the last level. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> how can I do that? Ah, the real Misha knows a recipe card. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Didn't Liner make the Ocarina for Misha originally? So wouldn't he know how to make it? I mean, even though, he, even if he forgot. Well, whatever. The police return to the real world and ask Misha about the ocarina. Get the recipe card and make Hama, please. Alright. So, just like with Orica's little... Well, anyone can go back and the event where the percentage you can. But, yeah, just like with the Don Leon doll we made for Orica back at level... 7? 6? I forget. We're gonna, we need to make the Hama. We need to make the ocarina while we made for Misha when we were a kid. So, we need to get the recipe card for Laner. You know, if Misha has it, then that must mean that that Lion must have gave it to Misha when they were children, right before she left from Anfina. Um, yeah, the end. So, in order to do that, you need to go rest and talk to Misha in the flesh. Hey, that kind of rhymed. What's up? Well, yeah, we have a favor to ask you. We need the recipe card for the ocarina. Um. Really? Doc Radian gave me. Oh wow! So Doc Radian that we made was broke by board. See, that gives me another reason why I hated him. Good thing's dead. Yeah, and this way we, we can make up for it. So we can make make a uh, ocarina for you this time. It'll be better than the one we made when we were a kid. Okay, cool. So now we need to go grab another damn thing. No, I also don't remember the green, so I'm not as prepared as I was when I was made when I made the uh, what was it? The Don Leon doll. And it's a good thing I made that extra U for Tisano, or no, was it? Ah, oh, whatever. We need to make canned food. Change it to water and a photon oscilloscope. Thank God we found one of these. Thank God. I was kind of freaking out there. But how's this scaring me, Shaw?
<laughs> I need to make the Polish Potter. Oh, uh, this, and we can make the Ocarina. I'm so glad I found that Photon Oscilloscope. Good lord, am I. Alright, and we have the Ocean Breeze Ocarina. Again, the quality doesn't really matter. It can be crap quality. It'll be the exact same thing since it's cognosphere related. Or plot related, whichever one you want to choose. We will run into more photon oscilloscopes later on in the game. <clears throat> well, it doesn't really matter as long as you put the thoughts you have for it now. I'm glad to see Misha happy too. Alright, now that that's done, we can now go right to our level 9 Cosmos Sphere and finish the Cosmos Sphere. Sweetness, and we can actually finish this pretty damn quickly compared to Orcus. And actually, I'm doing all this before we go up the Blast Line. So, yeah, we're gonna have all the songs by then. This is actually the first time this happened to me. So, I'm actually rather excited. And hey, there's Hama back in the wooden flesh. Well, you say that now, but weren't you here when we when we were about to do a ceremony? So we had to create create you again. Yeah, exactly. And we have the Woe I Need Red Magic. That is a Red Magic. I think that's Hama who gets summoned. I actually don't use that Red Magic all that much. I remember in which oh, Wolf Voice Crack. I remember that in uh, Cross Edge. Once well, I say remember, I mean don't remember the visual, I remember the actual song name. And what's up, Hama? <laughs> yeah, we get that a lot. No problem. It's just like with Dalian, we treasure you as a good friend, Liner. Er, Hama. Now, um, this is no surprise, but if you took Misha's path, Lina would remember who Misha is and Hama is because he got all his, his memories back. Uh, yeah, he got all his memories back. Um, I don't think... I don't think... Again, this could be contradiction what I said. I don't think he remembers Hama, though. I don't. I mean, I, I think the scene would still play out regardless. And since you can't do the Cosmos here at any point, Again, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I did Misha's Path. When I say a long time, I mean a long time. Like, playing this, playing this, and what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna do it. But yeah, when I say a long time, it's been like a long time. Like, probably a year since I played the R10 local game again. So I haven't given my PS2 some work. This has been, been doing nothing but collect dust. I gotta get more PS2 games. Like tells the abyss, I gotta get that game back. That's a good game. How far was going, Misha? <laughs> what do you mean, how far? He's a thick skull. Keister. Uh, we have not Keister yet. Sorry. Yeah, not in this path. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh. Oh, we have a stall ninja. Right? Does that count? But 
We wouldn't practice how. Wait, with you? What? Oh. What? Whoa, 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 it's a good thing I don't remember because I'd probably be in jail by now. Holy Orc. Oh, the Ocarina. A pedophile. I am not a pedophile. That's the reason why I didn't dive into an Orc. I was, I was refusing to dive into Misha when she was a kid. Because I didn't want to go to jail. I'm <laughs> joking. No, the joking was in quotation marks. Uh, I don't know, he makes no sense sometimes. Okay, now we can actually finish the Hobbins episode, and notice we have now the song and art option. So this is the real deal. Liner, you made me an ocarina. Thank you. Oh, Misha, I can't believe you've grown this much. Congratulations. Hama, thank you. I'm so happy oh, sorry. I made you again. I'm that always skipping the text. Regret. I was always in your heart, even after you broke me. Who else could have motivated Liner? <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, don't be sad if your new ocarina breaks, because I'll always be with you. Thank you. But if you do break it again, you can always ask this chump to make you a new one. Oh, shut up. Chump? <laughs> Chump. You're so right. <laughs> Damn, Misha agrees. Great. Thank you, Misha. Thank you. Are we ready? Yes. Misha is here today because she has overcome many obstacles and traveled through many paradigm shifts. She finally reached her deepest point, the access point to the tower, Artinelago. Artinelago. Access point to the tower? Why are you so surprised we did it with the Orca? Yes. Didn't you know that Areva Tail's Cosmosphere is connected to the tower's binary field? They're connected right here on level 9. By connecting her to the tower directly, she can boost her power significantly. Awesome sauce. Now she can access the tower directly. It's their greatest power. Now, let's begin the ceremony. <clears throat> Misha, our select loon. Yes. Do you promise to love and support Liner and stay by his side forever? What? What? <laughs> uh, I do. Liner, Barset. So now it's my turn to make promises? <laughs> Liner, you've helped Misha down her path of development. Do you promise to support her emotionally, so as to maintain peace in the Cosmosphere? Sure. Why not? Why not? Good. Now hug Misha to solidify your vow. Do I really have to hug her? <laughs> this makes sense that we just did this Orca. This is probably kind of like cheating on her. Yes. It is of utmost importance. The Cosmosphere is very delicate. It'll leave a huge scar on her psyche if you don't. Oh, God. Misha needs to maintain a strong, healthy connection with the person who helped her develop. Where a man and woman help support and improve each other. That is the kind of relationship you and Misha must create. Liner? Yes? Uh, Gigi, let's do it. And speaking of the Hakama, Liner's I wearing it. I still can't believe this. I finally showed you my true self. No, I wonder, is this the same Hakuma that Misha created for us, you know, the decorated Hakuma that we were using in the main game? I wonder. You did? Yes. We're in the deepest point of my Cosmosphere. Which means, you've seen every part of me. Wow. I want everything to stay like this forever. I feel so safe when I'm with you. Like, like I'm in a cradle. I know you will always protect me. Please, stay with me forever. Hmm. Though I still wish I could, still wish I could see, see Liner's face. Now that you've exchanged oh, well. vows, let's go get the power. 
You mean she hasn't gotten it yet? No. First, she must touch the tower. Come on. Alright. Here we are. So we, got, so we had two girls touch our towers. I mean, their tower. Are we inside? I'm not going to complain about that. Yes. This tower acts like an umbilical cord, connecting Rave Tales to Artinelico. The binary field is just around the corner. Really? I thought the tower has always been here. You may have seen it on a lower level, but you couldn't access it before. It may have seemed close, but you couldn't reach it. But not anymore. By touching the tower, Misha can access her greatest power. She'll be able to access the tower directly. Access directly? Oh, yeah. Yes. She used to absorb power from the tower to turn into song magic, but she couldn't affect the tower. But that's all about to change. She'll be able to affect the tower by crafting her feelings. Cool. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. Now, Misha, go. Touch the tower. Okay. Do it. I'm connecting with the tower. I've never felt anything like this before. Congratulations, Misha. And there we Thank go. Thank you for staying all the way to the end. But this isn't the end. It's just a new beginning. Again, I wish I could see the rest of it, but I will, unfortunately, yeah, can't. Yeah, you're right. I can go on forever. Together forever. Okay, and with that, we have complete, completed Misha's level 9 Goblin Sarah. Sweet. I think this is her best outfit. I kind of asked this since the last level. And with, it, we, we, with this, we get the White Kimono. Which is exactly what she's wearing, a White Kimono. And we have the Tower Connection Red Magic. It's it's the Arch and Tenelago Red Magic, just with a different name. I don't know why it's like that. Oh, uh, whatever. This game doesn't make sense sometimes. Anyway, we have players for level 9 comments here. Now, now I will explain this, this as well, because, well, in case you guys weren't watching, don't watch my Orgas level 9 comments here. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't, because I don't like leaving cliffhangers. Um, since we've completed her... her or the last level, we can go to the Life Tower, 400 100 DP, and Misha will say, well, <laughs> I, was, I was expecting the um, White Kimono one, but yeah, China Misha will show up and say, it's a good thing you came by, I wanted to tell you something, since, since I connected with the tower, I can gain more powers if I wish, what I mean is I can use magic more often, try it whenever you feel like crafting Zal magic, now, just like I explained with the, just like I explained with the Orca, we can choose Whichever magic we can. The only magic we can use is the green magic and the energy ball since it's infinite. Um, but you can actually increase the usage of the, of the songs. Again, I said it in Orca's atmosphere. I don't really use this feature all that much. Again, I might actually consider using it, especially for like Tower Connection or Artel Go. Since it's actually quite, pretty costly and see, you, know, you only use it once. So it's. If a song costs one, it's only one use to you know it's a pretty strong song magic. So, uh, again, I don't know. Anyway, and, and yeah, the max is not. I don't think I said that in Oregon level. Level 9 comes here. Alright, so. I will come back whenever we like. And we have one more area to explore. And that's going to be explored next time. Because there's one more level in both Oregon and Misha's level. Um, on there, lots of other comments here. So, until then, guys, I'll see you guys next time when we go into our low E. See you then.